free. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Gaurav Rastogi here, and uh, today I have a very, very special guest, uh, uh, Varna. And, uh, you know, she's going to be our keynote speaker in the upcoming, uh, you know, Regionals Come Gathering, Hyderabad, 29th and 30th, March 2019. And uh, for our viewers, I would like to quickly introduce uh, Verna. Uh, you know, she's a keynote speaker, as I said, on the conference. She's a agile transformation culture, flow, and leadership specialist. Okay. She's also a founder of uh, Deeply Agile, uh, Spirit of Agile. And she believes in creating spaces for exceptional agile performance. Wow, that, that's, that's quite uh, something great. Uh, we're going to talk about that as well. Also, to all of you, you should know that she is a Guinness Book of World Record holder. Yes, you heard it right. She is a Guinness Book of World Record holder. And in which field and how did she achieve this? We are going to talk, but I want to create some suspense around this. Okay, and I'll let Verna talk about it. <laughs> I want to steal the thunder. Okay. So, uh, but let me start with this. Uh, Verna, welcome uh, to this, and thanks for you know giving out your personal time for our viewers to to help them learn you know what's what's in store in this conference. So let me start. Uh, first question, uh, please, if you can introduce yourself and you know if you can talk about what keeps you busy nowadays. Okay. What am I up to that as well? Introduction. I think you pretty much nailed it on the head from an introduction perspective. I've been doing Agile for the last five years, but if you count rational unified process, it's like for the last 18 years. Um, and at my heart, I really, really enjoy um, just, I enjoy delivering well. You know, I enjoy that feeling when you actually get something out the door and it works and it works better than expected. And that's kind of what I'm doing now. In the last year, I left big corporate and I started to work for myself. I wanted to be able to explore more, it's sort of like a variation and differences in agile and agile transformation. I didn't want to get stuck in the agile coach box. You know, often you just get stuck mm -hmm. and then you're only coaching teams. I wanted to, I wanted to coach at enterprise. I wanted to do my favorite thing is to coach on culture and behavior and leadership. Um, so you know, I, I do workshops around that. And then I like the basics of agile, which is just like, you know, getting your work to flow. Um, understanding visualization and that kind of for me is cemented into the spirit of agile and the longer I've done it the more I start to realize that my Guinness World Record a lot of what I did there is what we're actually working with now in the agile all right that's that's quite fantastic and uh, exciting actually oh uh, wow so I, I you know what I, I really it, it caught my attention your tagline where you say you know creating spaces for exceptional agile performance and, and, and I really liked it. So please help us elaborate that. How do you do that uh, with your clients and, 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 and what's your experience around this? I think the, the phrase is the one that is really connected to, with me because if you look at what I did on my diving to get a world record, it's not about high performance, it's actually about exceptional performance. So what mm -hmm. is it that you do in order to create exceptional performance? And then when I was looking at Agile, I mean the whole, I, I have to use the phrase spirit of Agile, the whole spirit of Agile, the heart of Agile, is to be able to take teams and to take them from how they're performing right now and drastically and significantly change the ease with which they deliver. Uh, and, and what really, really appeals to me is um, getting the individuals to kind of step out their boxes, step out their roles, and almost like find their inner world record holder so that they are actually excelling, they're actually ex exceeding their own expectations of how they can show up. So that for me is like what, what I mean by exceptional agile performance. And it's, um, I don't see it very often because, you know, agile transformations are yes, in various stages. But every now and then I'll get one team and they'll just pick it all up and then they just fly on their own. And then as a coach, all I'm doing is cheerleading on the side and maybe pointing out something here and pointing out something there. But it's a, it's a, it's a very, it's a challenging and fascinating and sort of addictive space to be in because you kind of have to unstick people. They get stuck in their old ways of delivering and thinking about things and you can't just throw a process on top of it. You, you then have to like start to get them curious and start to get them excited and start to get them believing in themselves again. Um, and that, yeah, I think, yeah, I, I might have just gone waffled off a little bit, but yeah, that's kind of the essence of it for me. Wow, that's that's fantastic, and thanks for the insight there. And you know, speaking about your accomplishment, we are really proud and uh, you know honored that you know you will be our keynote speaker. And uh, you know, 
uh, since you're a Guinness Book of World Record holder, do you want to tell about tell uh, our viewers about this? And you know, we have created enough suspense about it. And you know, how this all started, how the inspiration, okay, how this all get there. Good, like, 20... Yeah, please. Yes, I don't ahead. want to give the game away because uh, a, a lot of a lot of what my talk is about is, is about the diving because I, I really want to be okay. able to take something that's non-agile and I want to be able to allow people to see agile from a different perspective. But I did my world record in 2004 and at the okay. time I was the fifth deepest in the world. So there were the four guys who'd been deeper than me. Um, my record dive, it's a dive, it's open circuit, so it's not breath hold, because breath hold is stupid, okay? There's crazy, that's breath hold, and then there's okay. what I do is normal. Um, uh -huh. And so it's it's six hours in the water. So six mm -hmm. hours in the water to 221 meters. Uh, it takes wow. me 11 minutes to get down to 221 meters, and then the next five and a half hours basically to get back out again. Um, so basically you take about four years worth of, four years of, years of prep, and you condense it wow. into six hours my god four hours here four years of profession and just got this in six hours wow and how did you get this inspiration and where, where did it all started <laughs> i i when i always tell people the funny part of this is that i did not want to dive deep i only mm -hmm. wanted to dive because i wanted to be able to be a marine biologist and i wanted to be able to okay. get under the water and see all the pretty fishes and okay. somewhere along the line you know I live in Joburg, which is six kilometers away from the sea. Okay. So in order to dive, we have to dive inland. And I mm -hmm. was very fortunate to be part of um, Nuno Gomez's world record team. He, he's held the world record twice. And, okay. um, and I started to watch him. And then I got involved in his dives as a support diver. It was like kind of a small step by step. I mean, if you'd asked me in 91 when I'd started diving, if I was going to be the deepest woman in the world, I would have laughed at you. Uh, it just wasn't going to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and so it's kind of back to the way I not give it up. I definitely had to find a way to be able to get there. Wow, I, I really like when you say that I didn't give it up. Okay, and and, and that's that's the key essence, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> the key essence. Yeah, I really like so. Uh, I really like what you just said. <laughs> Good. So so you know, uh, well, uh, Verna, you know, it's, it's really exciting to talk to you, and 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 you know, let's 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 get into you know uh, our our conference, and you know, uh, uh, you just mentioned that you know your topic is all around this, and your your exploration about this and things like that. So help us know a little bit about your topic specifically. Also, uh, let our viewers know that you know what kind of audience can really benefit out of this 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 talk, which you are planning to give um, uh, to regional fund gathering uh, in, in Hyderabad. Uh, let's start with the audience one. I think this should appeal to pretty much any anybody. Uh, I think the okay. people starting it'll give them a, a sort of a, a different perspective on agile and maybe make it a little bit more accessible because it can be very overwhelming. And for the people who've been in it for a while and maybe a little bit cynical and a little bit jaded, mm -hmm. I think uh -huh. it also is a different way of, of really looking at agile and taking it out of the process. So when things that I'm looking at within the, the talk of the parallels, I mean, the one parallel that stands out for me so much is that um, if you look at agile, agile is actually a series of concepts and principles. You know, they give you like guidance. We prefer this over that. We prefer people over mm -hmm. process. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't actually say how you do agile. And yeah. then we've got the scrums and the safes and they've come up with the hows. But even mm -hmm. then, it's just the framework. It doesn't tell you how your specific team can actually mm -hmm. make those ceremonies and those processes work for you. And that's the thing that I found so interesting about deep diving, especially being a woman deep diver, because in theory, there were four guys who'd been deeper than me. So in theory, I could have just copied what they did, but it doesn't work like that. I had to find out what my weaknesses were and my weaknesses were, my, their strengths were my weaknesses. So I then had to do, I, I like, I call it pathfinding. I don't have another name for it. It's like when mm -hmm. you take how other people have done it and then you work mm -hmm. out what is different between how they have done it and what is unique for us. And then we go and try and experiment until we find a way to do it ourselves. So that's one of the topics that, that I love um, exploring around, because that for me is what agile is. It's, it's a, you don't go and apply the process. You go and, well, what happens if I did do this? What happens if I do uh -huh. that? And you go and experiment in your sprints. That's what your sprints are for. So that's, um, that's one of the topics. The other one I particularly love is the whole mm -hmm. thing of autonomy. We talk about autonomy so much in Agile. <laughs> We've got to create these autonomous self-managing teams. And I don't think in corporate we actually understand what that means. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I remember the first time I ever did a solo dive on my own. 
and that literally that for me is what this what autonomy is you you go into the water and you go do a dive by yourself and you don't have your buddy mm-hmm. And if anything goes wrong, the only person who gets you out of the water is yourself. And the person who decides what you're going to do and how you're going to do it is yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what a world record is. You can't, mm-hmm. you can't copy from other people. So, mm-hmm. I mean, there are actually so many different parallels. Whenever I speak to people, mm-hmm. um, I, ask, I do ask the audience that I'm talking to to please come and tell me what they learned, you know, what their agile parallels are and what they heard mm-hmm. that I didn't say. And then I just mm-hmm. like end up making notes because people tell me a whole oh, lot of okay. other things and ways about <laughs> okay. how the sort of the spirit of exploration and how they've used it or what has inspired them. So yeah. I don't want to give the game away, right? You know, absolutely. We are looking forward for it. And, and you know, uh, what you just said, I, I really caught two things really well uh, that, you know, you talk, you mentioned that this talk would be really beneficial for the people who have been there around and still cynical about it and things like that. And the second word which you used was very good. And, you know, uh, I'm going to use it as a replacement for experiment called pathfinding. Yeah, I really like that word when you said that. Okay, thank you very much for adding to my vocabulary. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, uh, you know, uh, move on uh, to, to our, uh, uh, you know, uh, very last question for today. Uh, you know, any messages and any message you want to give for the delegates attending this regional scrum gathering? Uh, one message I definitely want to give, you don't want to miss Warna talking there, definitely, okay? That's one of the messages I want to give. Uh, yeah, any other messages you want to give uh, on Agile or, you know, for the delegates who are attending this one? You know, when, when, I, when I was thinking about the answer to this question, I was going, sure, like one message, <laughs> just one. Um, <laughs> Um, you know, I would love to, I love exploring India and I love the culture and the philosophy mm-hmm. of India. And I'd love to see what your delegates and the people who go to the scrum gathering will do yeah. with the information that I have. Um, mm-hmm. but I'd love to share that experience with you. And in particular, the thing that I really would like to invite everybody, especially in India, is that agile is fun. It's exploration. So yeah. to not get bogged down in the processes and have I got my ceremonies at 15 minutes, my stand up at 15 minutes, you know, all of that, that governance we get stuck in. And let's just have yeah. fun with agile and explore it and see how and see how exceptional we can be when we are having fun. Wow, exceptional, how, how we can be exceptional while having fun. I, I really like the combination of exceptional and fun, really, okay? So, you know, uh, thank you, Verna, for spending your time today and, and, and speaking to us. And we definitely are looking forward to meet you in person. Uh, and definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to meet you. And for our viewers, okay, if you're not there, you're going to miss this, absolutely, okay? So you want to be there and listening to Verna and, and, and she's a world record holder. You need to call world record holder or record holder, okay? So I'll see you all there. And thanks, Werner, for being with us tonight. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.